Shalom, shalom, family, and aloha from Maui, Hawaii. This is your sister, Chaya. I pray that you all are well on this beautiful Sabbath. I pray that this message is received for all my sisters to hear. This is such a beautiful message. It's powerful. And I pray that it blesses your life. You are special. You are important. You have a divine purpose as to why you are here. You are loved by your eternal father and mother. And we are so much more powerful than what we've been living according to. And it really is a time for us to step up, sisters. Be the example of the daughters of the Most High that we were created to be. We got to be the example for the young, our nieces, our young daughters, all those around us, our sons. Yes, we play an important role in the kingdom of the Father. We play an important part here in this earth. And we choose our partners, you know, as to who we decide to have children with. And so, with that being said, it's important that we choose wisely. But in order for us to do that, we need spiritual knowledge. That's right, righteous teachings to help us to live in holiness so that we can make better decisions and choices. Because um, a lot of what I'm seeing online and what I've encountered, I know we can do better. I pray that this message blesses you today. It's really time that we turn away from this whole thought culture this narcissist culture, this, this whole culture of vanity and using our bodies and our beauty to get the things that we want. Let's use our minds. Let's use our good works because the Father and our eternal mother have instilled those things within us. I pray that this message from, from Christ in the book, the sealed portion, the final testament of Christ, I pray that it blesses you today. I'm your sister. I love you. And that's why I wanted to bring this message to you. I'm going to read this powerful message out of chapter 17. And this is a message from our Messiah, our Savior, the King of Kings, Christ, to us, my sisters. Alleluia and all praises to the Most High for the reading of his word. I hope you're blessed by this. And I would that you should understand that a man and a woman are equal in all things. Yea, I would that those of you who think that a man is greater than a woman would know that a woman is even more precious unto the Lord than a man. And this is because of her power of creation, as it has been explained previously unto you. Behold, a righteous man can bring forth many children, but these children cannot be righteous, except that they are taught by their mothers who are righteous. And if it were in the best interest of the purpose of creation, then God would rid himself of most men, but keep unto himself the women, 
for within one man is the power to create many children. But within a woman is the power by which she might only create one child at one time. And this righteous man might be the means by which many women may bring forth children. Alleluia. And now, my beloved sisters, remember who is your father in heaven. Remember that ye have a mother there also. Yea, remember that you were created in the image of your eternal mother and that she loves you and desires that you have the happiness that you desire. Hallelujah. You are daughters of an eternal father and mother. Absolutely. Hallelujah. You deserve the respect and honor of a daughter of these eternal beings. Be ye not deceived by your brothers who lust after you and would take you away from the words of Christ. Behold, Christ is your brother, but he does not lust after you, nor does he desire that you become his wife. He desires to bring you happiness and he will accomplish this desire by preaching repentance unto your brothers and teaching them his ways that they may prepare themselves to be your husbands and the fathers of your spirit children, which will bring you joy and happiness forever. Alleluia. Behold, thus says Yeshua the Christ, our Lord and Savior, unto all of the daughters of God. Listen to this, my sisters. My beloved sisters, I would that ye should love, should know the love by which you are loved and the honor by which this love comes. Behold, of all of the creations of the Father, none are as beautiful and more consistent to the glory of his kingdom than are you. Hallelujah. Remember to keep my commandments that you may always have my spirit to be with you. And if you have my spirit with you always, you shall not be deceived by your brothers. And through the ministrations of the Holy Ghost, you shall be able to discern which of your brothers are worthy of your companionship. Learn of me and my spirit. Defile not the temple, not the temple, not your body, sisters, that I have given unto you and bless with the power of creation. If any man would be your husband, let him prove himself worthy. You hear that, sisters? Let him prove himself worthy of you by keeping my commandments and following in my footsteps. Behold, I have given unto men the pattern that they should follow to become righteous husbands for you. And I have given my life as an example unto them. And if men learn of me and follow my example in all things, then they shall be worthy of you. And if they follow not my example, then they will not be like me. And I love you and serve you and do those things that bring you happiness. And if men do not follow this example, then they are not worthy of you. Hallelujah. 
And if they are not worthy of you in this life, by following the example that I have given to them, then they will not be worthy of you in the kingdom of my father. And if they are not worthy of being a husband in the kingdom of my father, then what purpose do you have for them? Except as salt, which has lost its savor and is henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trotted under the foot of men. Behold, a commandment I give unto you, even that you wait patiently upon me, and I will prepare a husband for you. Hallelujah. And he will be like unto me, and will do unto you that would which I would do unto you if I were your husband. Hallelujah. And that which I would do unto you shall bring you exceedingly great joy and be the means of your eternal happiness. I love you, my beloved sisters, and I leave upon you my blessing. Amen. Alleluia. All praises to Yeshua the Christ, who is also Matzah the Lamb, Mutza. He is the King of Kings. He is the true Messiah. He is our brother and he loves us, sisters. I really pray that that blesses one of my sisters, if not several. Ponder upon those words. Read them for yourself. Let your heart truly feel these words. Mothers, daughters, aunts, nieces, sisters, it's time for us to elevate. It's time for us to be the daughters of the Most High that we were created to be. I love you with real love, real respect. And um, I pray that that blessed you. Peace, love, unity, respect, and mahalo from Maui, Hawaii. Have a blessed weekend, my sisters. I'll talk to you soon. Shalom. Thank you.